the wheels on the car go round and round. Let's talk gas prices, hmm? We normally just drive the car down the street, get the gas when you need it. We also sometimes go, uh, we have Kroger does this thing where you get uh, points, fuel points when you spend. So you get a fuel point for every dollar and for every you know, hundred points, you get 10 cents off a gallon of gas. And uh, we feel like, oh yeah, yeah, this is great. Like, but they do it because they want you to come there and spend all your money. Uh, and it's not necessarily always the cheapest price on things there, right? So uh, we don't always want to be reliant on that. And so I found this wonderful little app. So we, we get, whenever our tank is empty, we have to get 17 gallons of gas, okay? So let's, let's think about this. So I decided like, Maybe we're overpaying for gas, because you know we're probably overpaying for everything. It turns out. <laughs> uh, so I found, I, you know, I did some quick research, found this little app, this guy here called Gas Guru. So just go if you're on iOS, go get Gas Guru. It's actually put out by the people that do Yellow Pages. I don't know. I've had good experience with it so far. We've used it a couple times. So it just comes up and it shows you a map around your house, and it shows you the best prices. Like, even from earlier today, gas prices have dropped. So, most places, let's look, uh, we would normally go down to Kroger, and it looks like Kroger is two thirty-five a gallon. So, two thirty-five a gallon. So, we're paying thirty-nine. 95 39.95 to fill our gas tank, right? Oh, that's crazy. Like that's not so bad. But when I zoom out, zoom out a little bit and move it around, I don't know if you can see that. Instead of 235, there's a place about 2 miles from our house that's selling gas for $1.72. Dollar seventy-two. 29.24. How crazy is that? I mean, that's like a ten over a ten dollar savings, right? Ten dollars and seventy-one cents. You can save just because you drive a little bit out of the way. Right? And now the real question becomes, are we saving $10.71 on gas if we go over to Kroger and use the points? Uh, no, I don't think so. At 10 cents a gallon, we only save about $1.70. So is Kroger the cheapest price mm, on other products we're buying? Depends. It really depends. Like you gotta, you gotta look around. I mean, we can find a lot of things even on Amazon Prime that is cheaper than what we get at the store, right? Like if you go buy real maple syrup at Kroger, like forget it. It's expensive. So, like, I, I don't think we're we're saving a lot by using their their Kroger points to get cheaper gas. So what's that? Like if we go through a tank of gas a week, we're saving like five fifty six ninety two. Like, blowing my mind here. So again, just go get this Gas Guru app. All you have to do is like, I'll zoom out a little bit and then it doesn't always update. So just kind of move your cursor around here and pull them up and see whatever comes up green, right? You see the green ones on there. That's really what you're going for. And let me see if I can find it again. There you go. The one that says best, that's the one you're going for, you know? And like, we even have a Costco membership and uh, we thought, oh yeah, Costco probably got a decent price on gas. 
Uh, turns out that's not so true. So they're at about 217 right now, right? So even, even from there, we're saving quite a bit. And it turns out that there's a couple gas stations that seem to be cheaper than others around us. And uh, so now we know to kind of look over there, but um, you know, when you're out and about, like don't, you know, we, we were getting ready to drive today and we we're gonna pay 218 for gas had we not just gone a little bit out of our way. Like, oh, we maybe drove a mile out of our way, mile and a half. Pay attention, use Gas Guru, save some money. We just saved a load of money.